Ooh, don't get too scared. <laughs> Hey everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude and I'm here to review the movie Beetlejuice. So, Beetlejuice is directed by Tim Burton and it stars Alec Baldwin, Gina Davis, and Michael Keaton. So this film is about this ordinary couple named Adam and Barbara. They're decorating their house, they spent a lot of their time on this house, and then all of a sudden, this couple dies. So when they discovered that there's this new family moving into their house, Barbara and Adam, who are now ghosts, have to try to scare them away out of their house. When they fail to do that, however, they need to get the help of, guess what? Beetlejuice! But Beetlejuice has more in mind than just helping. So before I review Beetlejuice, my guest star, Justin Watches Movies, is going to review it. So Justin, take it away. Hey everybody, it's Justin from Justin Watches Movies and I'm here on 22 Tiger Dude's channel to review Beetlejuice. Thank you 22 Tiger Dude for allowing me to be on your channel for your Halloween reviews. Beetlejuice stars Alec Baldwin, Gina Davis, and the title character Beetlejuice played by Michael Keaton. I only have a few issues with this film and one of them is that you really don't get to see Beetlejuice that much in my, the film. That's in my opinion. I felt like it was 40-45 uh, minutes into the film the first time you actually get to see Beetlejuice and with that, after that you don't get to see him that much. With that being said, I did think Tim Burton did create a very fun film. This film is typical Tim Burton, the style of it, the darkness, the creatures. These creatures and the characters are so cool looking. This is something that only Tim Burton can create and it, it all looks like a regular Tim Burton movie. His style and the creatures all look the same of his films and I love that about his work. One of my favorite scenes is the in the film is the dinner musical scene when everybody, when Beetlejuice is kind of taking over everybody and they're all dancing and singing. It's, that scene right there is the best scene out of the whole entire movie and I love that scene a lot. I laugh a lot but in this film I think that my old Keaton was amazing as Beetlejuice. He was so funny. I loved the makeup and the costume for Beetlejuice. His hair, everything about Michael Keaton playing Beetlejuice was perfect. I loved everything about him. And so I'm going to go ahead and give Beetlejuice a B plus. If I got to see a little more of Beetlejuice, I think my grade would be a little bit different, but I still think that Tim Burton did create a very fun film, a very stylish film with that. So this is Just Watch Movies on 22 Tiger Dudes channel to review Beetlejuice and I'll see you later. Bye. Thank you so much to Justin Watches Movies for reviewing Beetlejuice. So Beetlejuice is a film directed by Tim Burton. In my opinion, this is actually one of his best films. I loved Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice is a fantastic fantasy comedy movie. It's very clever. The idea and concept is very original. The direction by Tim Burton is really great. And the writing by Michael McDowell and Larry Wilson is top notch. The acting is really great all around. There's no bad performances in this film. Everyone gives it their all and really nails it. Alec Baldwin does a really great job. Gina Davis does a really good job. Annie Muck and Roe does a really good job. And of course, you got Michael Keaton as Beetlejuice. And oh my god, you guys. Michael Keaton is fucking awesome. Awesome in this role. He really nails it as the title character. And this title character isn't in this film that much, but he really makes every single moment of his screen time worth it. He was incredible in this movie. It's a very unique character. I should say and you know he just really stole the show he of course the makeup and the visual effects they're cheesy but they're meant to be cheesy but also at the same time they look really great I love the makeup on Beetlejuice I thought 
he looked fantastic and there's a lot of comedy moments that make me laugh my ass off it's very clever it's original now i know there's criticisms with people saying how there's not enough beetlejuice Honestly, to me, I did feel like there was enough Beetlejuice. Maybe, yeah, there could have been a little more, but that honestly wasn't an issue with me because even when the movie didn't have Beetlejuice coming around, I was always entertained with Alec Baldwin and Gina Davis's characters. You know, I really cared for that couple and everything else that happens in terms of them being ghosts and what they have to do. All that stuff really entertained me. And the thing is that Beetlejuice, he actually doesn't appear until after the first 47 minutes of the movie. Yeah, it takes 47 minutes for us to see the title character. So, if, of course, if a movie is going to take a while to show the title character, you really have to make sure your buildup is good. That it's still interesting, even without the title character in the movie for pretty much a freaking long time and I never felt the movie was dragged. Everything leading up to Beetlejuice's first appearance is fantastic to me and it's entertaining just because of how original, how inventive and creative the script was, how beautiful Tim Burton's direction was with his camera angles and what these characters are because all these characters always have their unique personalities which makes the film overall just so damn amazing it's a very well executed movie it's a very well paced movie it's funny as hell one of the best films from tim burton by far one of my favorite movies in general and beetlejuice overall i'm gonna give this movie obviously four out of four stars i feel like it's very deserving of it just because of how great the comedy is the storyline is the execution the pacing the characters the cinematography how it's directed just everything about this movie is top notch i just love beetlejuice it's a great movie what can i say so i want to give a special thank you to justin watches movies for reviewing beetlejuice with me and please check out his channel he's a very nice guy i will leave a link in the description below